Okay, pals, at long last, it's time for action. This is the unboxing video I've been waiting all year for. Well, two weeks, but that is literally all of 2022 and then some. This is, in fact, the bulk of my Christmas gift here. Um, this is Series 1 of the Action Force toy line, most of it. Of course, we've already had a look at this excellent uh, Swarm Trooper that I got just before Christmas. And uh, so that's not in the box since I already possess it, but pretty much uh, everything else will be, uh, with the exception of some of the uh, uh, pre-order exclusives from other venues. Now, this is not a pre-order. This is straight from the manufacturer. This was retail. And I'm not going to get into the uh, uh, the hassle of placing this order and wondering for over a week what the status was and then waiting... Uh, uh, nearly another week for the package to arrive. That's not what this video is about. The goods are here. And that's what I want to focus on. We'll talk about all that other stuff later. Let's go ahead and put the waspirator over on the uh, what will someday become the display shelf for these figures. And once again, it's time for action. Let's open the box. Oh. Very exciting. All right. Now, what I'll probably do is just move this box off the table here so we have space to display what comes out of it. But this is always my favorite part, just opening the box. Lots of packing paper on top, which I will make use of in future. And right on top, I've already pulled the packing slip off the box itself. We'll have the, uh, the important user information, which we've already seen. Uh, no doubt these will all have to be heated up before I try to, to uh, move the joints on these figures. The, uh, you know, the eastern seaboard has been below freezing for the past two weeks, pretty much. And these came from Rhode Island. And it's uh, almost below freezing today where I am. So, yeah, definitely I'll use a hairdryer on everything before I, uh, I try to uh, play with them. But there's so much in here, I probably won't I get it all done today. Uh, in fact, this can take a while to get all these ready for a, a display and play. All right. So yeah, what I think I'll go ahead and do is just put the box in the floor so we have some room to... to this box weighs seven pounds, folks. Um, like I said, this is the, the bulk of uh, Series 1 Action Force. There is more on the way, but I don't know when it's coming. And we'll talk about that, too. All right. Let's get started, y'all. You know? uh, all right. First figure I pulled is Condor. Uh, looks good in the box. Now, I won't be taking these out of the box in this video. We'll be doing that in subsequent videos. Comes with the extra head. With That's probably the head I'll put on this figure and, and use this head for the uh, Series 2 Sergeant Slaughter figure. That's my plan. Or maybe the Series 1 Sergeant Slaughter. We'll just have to see. Comes with a lot of cool accessories. He comes with a helmet and some goggles to place on the helmet that flip down. Night vision goggles. And... Uh, also, a little knife. That appears to be the same knife as the Swarm Trooper with just a little different paintwork on it. And I uh, can't tell what kind of weapon. I've written down the uh, names of some of the weapons that come with these. So in future, I'll have that reference handy and, and we'll, uh, we'll know what's what for the most part. Oh, yeah. Looks good in the, in the packaging there. And his uh, flak jacket is already on there. And I'm not taking that off because uh, that is proving to be a huge pain to... Uh, Get these jackets on and off of these figures. It's going to be a problem with a couple of the figures that I've got because you have to put them on them, um, some of the troop builders. We'll talk about that here in a few minutes. But there we go, Condor. Got some more uh, uh, action points. I have a bunch of action points saved up. I hope there's a promotion soon to cash those in for a mail away. All right. So uh, shall I stack them like so? Well, we'll see if, if we can do that. If it a problem. We'll, we'll try to come up with something else. Up next, here we have the Steel Brigade Trooper. This is a very popular figure. I would say uh, the Swarm Trooper is the most popular, uh, evidenced by the fact that it's sold out everywhere, even through the manufacturer. Steel Brigade is also sold out at this time through the manufacturer, but there's still pre-orders available through Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, if they, they're still planning to uh, sell those, which we'll might talk about that a little as well. But uh, they, they've been on pre-order for two years at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, 
and they still don't have them at the time of this filming. And, uh, okay, so he has his firearm and another little knife that looks very similar to the Swarm Trooper knife. And his, uh, that's the, the same type of pistol that comes with the Swarm Trooper with uh, uh, no paint on it. So th that's a Maxim 9 pistol, I happen to know that. And folks, I'm not a, I'm not a gun lover, so I'm, I'm just passing on what the name of the uh, uh, weapons are, not uh, any first-hand knowledge of, <laughs> of how they fire or anything like that. Um, all right, so, and of course, these all come with stands. That's great. And the Steel Brigade Trooper also comes with a little extra piece of paper with uh, that you can fill out and, and create your own backstory for the particular figure in the same vein that in G.I. Joe, there was a Steel Brigade Trooper that you mailed away for and did the exact same thing. So uh, there you go. Okay, so there's two of the deluxe figures. These uh, each retail 32 bucks each. Let's see, what's next? Oh, there's quite a bit down in here. Lots of fun surprises. Uh, okay, here's one of the bad guys. This is Karak. And he comes with the medieval helmet. And that is part of um, his, his shtick. He and his troops wear medieval helmets. Um... And we'll see some of his one of his troop builders in uh, either two A or two B. I can't remember which the next the next series coming out in the next few months comes with a neat little axe. He also comes with a, a shotgun, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. I think. And uh, that's a very menacing dude. I don't know if I'll display him with a helmet on or not. That's a it's a great looking helmet though. I like the paint applications on that. And. Uh, so he has a holster. Looks like his weapon is already in the holster. And a knife sheath there on his leg. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to finally have these. Um, next. Hmm. Ah. Here's The Bone Collector. And it does say The. So that's what he's supposed to be called. The Bone Collector. Rather than Bone Collector. Kind of like Batman, often known as the Batman. So there we go. And, uh, ooh. You know, I really do like this flight jacket. He's, that's that's more body armor. Uh, and again, these are a pain to take on and off, so I don't want to mess with that too much. The mask, everyone loves the mask. Uh, and, wow, that face looks very realistic. Great sculpt on the face. Um, all right. You know, you'll notice that most of the colors of these figures are rather muted. Not a lot of uh, bright primary colors, with the exception of the Swarm Trooper, which has all that bright yellow paint app on him and silver. But otherwise, it's it's very muted, cool colors on these figures rather than warm colors. And I think that is totally by design. So those are four of the uh, deluxe figures. And of course, we already have a Swarm Trooper. I suppose we could go ahead and put this here on the table for completion's sake. And, of course, the Swarm Gear Pack. We'll just put him right there. I don't even know. Yeah, that's on camera. And uh, we could uh, we could have probably centered that up a little better. But Now, let's see what else we have. Here. Oh! Yeah, we'll have to move these around. Because here is perhaps one of the more popular figures in the line. It's Sergeant Slaughter. It looks like his hat has fallen off during shipping. But I can see it. It's right there. Uh... That looks just like Sergeant Slaughter, folks. Just like him. Now, there will be a Sergeant Slaughter figure in, in Wave 2 as well. With bare arms and, you know, the no vest. You know, just, well, no, it does come with a vest. It actually comes with something else, too. But it looks much more like the classic G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter. Um, but this is a, a great-looking figure right here. Um, he's got sunglasses in there. I'm uh, reading that the sunglasses don't stay on very well, but... I think our, our old pal Poster Putty will help us out there, if, if necessary. All right, so let me go ahead and try to maybe even this up just a little here. For presentation on camera here. All right. Let's see if that satisfies. Yeah, it's good enough. That looks fine. We sort of got the steel brigade right in the middle. That's fine. And, all right, so those, I think those are all the deluxe Action Force Series 1 figures.
Might actually put those a little closer here in a minute. Now let's move on to uh, the troop builders. All right. Now, I'm not going to take these out of the package yet, uh, but there is an action figure in here. This is the Special Ops Republic Guard figure. Worth one action point. And there's the uh, file card on the back. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no, these are, they sell at a, at a lower price point. These are 22 each. It's just the figure in his hands and two different heads. No weapons or, 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 or gear, any, any sort of gear whatsoever. That's what the extra gear packs are for. And uh, so this is all black. I think there is actually some silver paint apps or maybe gray paint apps on the figure as well. We'll, we'll get this out at a later time and, and have a look at this. This will be the first troop builder we look at because there's not a special ops gear set. So we, at this time, we probably won't even outfit him with uh, any sort of vest. Or yeah, There are some backpacks in here, though, that should work for that. So we'll put this right here. Okay, next. Okay. The Urban Combat Trooper. There is one action figure in there with two different heads and several different fists. And it's, a, it's sort of a gray camouflage. Uh, on this figure, and we'll look at all these. Um, it looks very much like Firefly from G.I. Joe, the, the bad guy, the Cobra bad guy Firefly, the same sort of camouflage on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uniform. So this is an Urban Combat Republic Guard. There is an Urban Gear set we'll look at here just in a few moments. And, and if one of those falls over, it's fine. There he is. The Riot Trooper, it's called the Riot Warfare Republic Guard, and uh, a, a blue and black uh, uniform on this. Uh, there is a Riot gear pack, which is sold out in a lot of places right now. It, the, the gear pack, we'll see in a moment, is all black, and uh, it'll work well with the Special Ops Troop as well. But uh, these, these could be, uh, you know, your, your SWAT Troopers, and, uh, you, know, the, you know, the blue and the black suggest uh, police. But they can also be your uh, right warfare troopers in action force here. Two different heads, several different fists. You come with those, okay? And again, these three each retail for twenty-two bucks rather than thirty-two because they come with no accessories. All right, now uh, have to save time. Let's go ahead and well, no, we won't get these two out anyway. So here, here it is. Again, in a box where you can't see what's in it, uh, other than the artwork on the front. The Riot gear set comes with a backpack, helmet with the goggles, a flak jacket. That is going to be a huge pain to get on the figures. Um, some weapons. Looks like there's a uh, a belt. Okay, you've got to heat up those belts to get them stretchy enough to, unless you take the figure apart to get them on as well. And uh, there's a couple of other things there. I see a bag there as well. Oh, there you go. There's everything that's included right there. Uh, some extra uh, magazines to put into the uh, weapon there. Oh, these leg straps might be a pain to put on. We'll just have to see. And there's that knife again. And a knife sheath. And, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit of stuff. I, I can't remember what these retail for. It's maybe 12 or 13 bucks. Uh, but you combine this with one of the troop builders or any one of the uh, Action Force figures. And the, the deluxe figures. And, uh, okay. So we'll put these... I think we'll just lay these down up front like so. And now here is the Urban Gear Set, which is probably exactly the same thing. Um, well, I think it comes with a different weapon. This one has a grenade launcher on it, and which is probably why this body armor has the uh, grenades on the front there. Yeah, that makes sense. And again, the standard combat da dagger. And everything is green and, and silver. With this set, there's some of it's black, but some of the colors are black. But um, now here's the thing: this set is green overall, but the Urban Combat Trooper is wearing gray camo. Um, that looks all right when you get it on there, but uh, I think the issue is most people be like, "Well, this clashes." Well, you don't worry about that so much in combat, folks. But uh, what, uh, Series Two B, there's going to be a, a green and black. Uh, troop builder with a green and black gear set uh, that, that you know for 
just standard military green. I think a lot of people are looking for the Delta Trooper. I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. I am as well. And all right. And then there's one other, well, a couple of other things now. There we go. Oh, this box is actually filled. It's heavy. Here is the backpack gear set that comes with a lot of different colored backpacks and uh, uh, bags, shoulder bags that you can uh, put on all these different figures that don't have backpacks and shoulder sets. You can mix and match these for your troop builders or for your standard action force figures. Okay. That's a, a very substantial weight to this one. The uh, backpacks are cool because you can open them up. They're hollow on the inside. You can open them up and you can store gear inside them. It's a great feature on those. Okay. Now, just a little more packing material in the bottom. And the last three items. It looks like everything's here. All right, we have weapons packs Alpha and Bravo. And some extra weapons, including some pistols, some... I'll show you what this is in a minute, these little things. And some... Uh, there's a pretty classic-looking uh, weapon right there. Let's see. I think these are the same weapon. Well, no, this one has a scope. But this one has the grenade launcher attached. I don't know anything about weapons, folks, so you're just going to have to... Uh, there's a grenade launcher. This is the same one that comes with the Swarm Gear Pack, just in different colors. So this is Weapons Pack, uh, weapons pack Alpha. And uh, I guess we'll put that right there. And here's Weapons Pack Bravo. With some, there's a shotgun, <laughs> a sawed-off shotgun in that one. Um, a weapon with an uh, artillery weapon with a, a, a bi bipod on it uh, that, you know, sits on the ground. There's another one of these that came with the uh, Swarm Trooper, just with different paint scheme and <laughs> some gold-plated... Uh, firearms. I suppose if you have one of those Pimp Daddy Destro G.I. Joe classified figures, these would be neat to have with that. Um, and some of the muzzle flash, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So there's the other uh, weapons pack. There, now, Series 3, there will be a weapons pack, Charlie, with some more uh, new weapons in it. Yeah, series 2, I think. I might have said Series 3. And they sent me three additional um muzzle flashes these you stick these down in the barrels of the weapons to make it look like they're being fired now this was three dollars for these three a dollar each um i at this point in time you know just looking at these the quality looks fine uh i'd have liked to have seen uh nine of these for three dollars each rather than a dollar a piece um that, that seems a little steep to me but you know, I did want some extra ones. Both the weapons packs come with three, so that's six. And then three here, that's nine. That should be enough muzzle flashes for each figure. That's why I, that's how, that's why I got these three extras, just to, so I would have one for each figure. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's nine. So there you go. With two exceptions, this is uh, everything you see here. That's pretty much Series 1 uh, of Action Force. Uh, the Wasp Raider... Is the BotCon exclusive? That's on the way. They say it's on the way. They've printed a shipping label. They haven't actually shipped it. Um, I, I don't know why people think that you can tell them, hey, your, your package is shipped when it's easy enough to, to jump on the internet and say, no, it hasn't shipped. You printed a shipping label, and now three days later, it hasn't left your warehouse. You're not fooling anybody. But uh, that's it should be on the way. I don't know when. And, of course, the Big Bad Toy Store uh, exclusive, which is just a gung-ho outfit for the, for the G.I. Joe action figure, gung-ho, which is in a different toy line. Uh, I don't know if that's ever shipping out. I don't know if they're ever even getting their Series 1 of Action Force. I, they've had those on pre-order for just about two years. And if they know where their shipment of these figures are, they're not telling anybody. So I, I don't know what to tell Big Bad Toy Store pre-orders individuals who did that uh i empathize uh because I'm, I'm waiting for something from them as well that that gung-ho gear set but i don't even know which figure i'm going to put i mean this the it would it wouldn't even look proper on the uh spec ops trooper because gung-ho's uh, uh vest is, is baby blue 
Uh, it would almost certainly need to be on a gung-ho figure, or, or maybe a figure in the future. We'll just have to see. Uh, the only thing not accounted for at this point would be the uh, the, the Steel Brigade commander heads that were uh, offered to some individuals who pre-ordered these through the uh, Kickstarter uh, several years ago, well, two years ago. Um, the thing is, a lot of the people that did that pre-order have just taken those Steel Brigade commander heads and, and put them on eBay for $150 a piece. Um, so I'll probably not worry about that. Um, I, th I think that's terrible that, that people would do that, but hey, there's clearly a demand for it. It's just a, a gold paint apps rather than silver paint apps on a Steel Brigade uh, helmet. And uh, they were intended for VIPs, but, you know, a lot of scalpers have gotten a hold of those and are, and are doing what scalpers do with them. And other than the uh, comic books, uh, which uh, I have not even thought about collecting yet, uh, the only, and, you know, stickers and, and T-shirts and, and sign posters and things like that, uh, the only... Uh, uh, the only thing from the Action Force toy line that I'm aware of that I don't have at this point was is the uh, prototype weapons pack uh, that was issued. Oh, they sold those long before the figures existed. Just unpainted versions of the weapons uh, that you see on the table here right now. Those aren't crucial. I am not an in-box, in-package collector. These are all coming out of the box. They're going to be played with and they're going to be uh, put on display on my uh, dresser over here. So that doesn't really uh, matter to me that much. Uh, and as far as the Steel Brigade gold head, or the uh, the head with the you know the the commander head, um, <laughs> I would have to buy another Steel Brigade figure, even if I got a hold of one of those to display it on. So that's not crucial either. And I'll be damned if I'm paying uh, one hundred fifty dollars for something that costs no more than ten. But there it is, folks. Uh, most of Series One of the Action Force toy line. The only thing. Uh, not present on the table now is the Wasp Raider, which is on the way. I just have no, absolutely no idea uh, when it will uh, uh, get here. And the the Gung Ho Declassified Gear Set from Big Bad Toy Store, which, again, absolutely no idea when they're going to get them, much less when they're going to actually start selling them. So what happens now? Well, over the course of the next several days, for me anyway, during my what little free time I have, I'll be uh, taking one by one these figures out of the package and using the hot air, the hair dryer on them to try to uh, free up their joints. Um, and I'll do a, a review of each figure and each different uh, item uh, one by one. With the, I mean, I won't do a review of these. I mean, unless these break on me. We know what these are. We know what these do. Um, I have lots to say. Um, and lots of issues with the fanboys on both sides uh, of this line um you know on one side you've got the uh, uh the richard riding uh, fanboys for ha uh, hasbro gi joe classified figures that don't want these action force figures to exist and are actively uh, uh shitting all over this toy line on uh, uh certain forms which i won't mention but uh, perhaps forms that rhyme with piss tank but then on the other side, you have Richard Riding fanboys of these uh, Valiverse figures who, uh, who who lose their minds whenever someone points out some of the uh, issues, uh, valid um, and justifiable issues to point out. But, but um, I mean, listen, these are really, really cool action figures, but there's no reason to pretend like these uh, were sent to pay for our sins and redeem us. I mean... And frankly, I'm finding a lot of the Richard Riding Action Force fanboys to be just as insufferable as the Richard Riding uh, G.I. Joe Classified fanboys. <laughs> you both suck, and it's no wonder broader society looks down on toy collectors the way they do. The truth, of course, is somewhere in the middle. These are excellent action figures with some issues. And I think the manufacturer is well aware of those issues, and I think we'll see improvements on those issues in subsequent uh, waves of figures, which apparently aren't too far away. Uh, Series 2A, that's four different figures, four new figures, apparently launching in March. And Series 2B, that's, uh, I can't remember, maybe four, five different figures, maybe, oh, I can't remember, folks. More figures with... Uh, it, with the target date of May. Now, don't be surprised if it doesn't get pushed back. We're still not out of the woods on this, uh, obviously, the pandemic and obviously the uh, supply chain issues. So it might get pushed back. 
Uh, I hope we don't see a situation where Series 2A and 2B are released retail before Big Bad Toy Store fulfills the Series 1A pre-orders that are will by that time be over two years old. Um, that would be pretty ridiculous, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but that's what we're looking at right now. But I'll have more to, to say about all those all those topics in, in the subsequent videos I make on these. I can't wait to get started uh, opening these up and getting them ready for display and uh, doing a review on each item in kind and in turn. And the only thing I'm not particularly looking forward to is trying to get the equipment onto the, uh, the troop builders. Because I've never pulled an action figure apart to try to put its clothes on before. I'm a little apprehensive about doing that. I hope I don't break it in the process. I am going to try to be careful. Oh, and before I close here, I just want all my electric football viewers, I want to pass this along. Everything you see on this table right now costs less than a custom four-foot-long electric football game board. Uh, you know, let that sink in. Uh, this is a far better value, which is why I chose to uh, spend my money with Valiverse rather than with uh, uh, a custom board builder. So this is what I'll be doing for the next couple of weeks, probably. Uh, just getting these ready to put on display. I'll try to play some games, some football and baseball games, uh, when possible. There will be a couple more unboxing videos. Of course, the Wasp Raider, if it ever gets here. The uh, Gung Ho outfit, if it ever gets here. And uh, another special surprise that's coming. Uh, I wanted to have uh, at least one of a particular type of action figure to compare these with. Um... Don't want to spoil the surprise, but it should be very interesting. Well, thanks so much for watching. And the folks out there who are still trying to find these anywhere and, you know, who still have their, their pre-orders in with Big Bad Toy Store and beginning to wonder if they're ever going to get them and, and send them, I believe me, I empathize with you. I have those same misgivings. But I beg you, please don't pay scalpers prices for these on eBay. Uh, don't reward those assholes. I know you're sick and tired of, of, of watching Richard writers on the internet tell you to calm down and be patient. Full disclosure, I was getting really impatient myself because it took two weeks to get these after I placed the uh, order at retail, not pre-order, at retail. But just know I empathize with you and I'm rooting for you and best of luck finding these. Okay, thanks pals, talk to you soon.